What is up survivors, Mr. Profanity here and welcome! Our channel is all about bringing you guys art tutorial videos in the shortest amount of time with the most accurate information so you can get back to playing ARK. In this quick video I'll be showing you the new best location ever to tame a plesiosaur with the easiest taming method available. So first things first, you're gonna need to head over to the Tundra Falls. There's a super easy to access spawn of two plesiosaurs. What makes this location the best I've ever come across is the fact you have very little chance of death and you can completely trap the plesiosaur. The best part is it takes very little effort and very little time to do. Since this is an underwater cave, I'm going to give you two different options. One you can do early game and one you can do end game. But before we get into all that cool jazz, I'm going to just take this time to show you actually how to get into the cave so that way you don't get lost or confused and then everything can go smooth for you. So basically you're going to drop down from the GPS coordinates that I gave to you. Then you're going to head to the very bottom of this pool of water. You'll notice a green lighting. That will be the entranceway to the cavern. Once you're there, you'll notice that I have two tames, a Dipocallus and a Carbonemis. These are essential because the Dipocallus provides oxygen for you and the Carbonemis will allow you to not run out of stamina. All you do is ride the Carbonemis and your stamina will replenish. To replenish your oxygen, all you have to do is go over to the Dipocallus, hit E for PC players, Y for Xbox, and Triangle for PlayStation. This is the best early game option because the Dipocallus doesn't require a saddle and the Carbo saddle only requires level 20. The Plesiosaurs spawn literally right on the other side of this entranceway, usually in groups of two. The Carbonemis will provide you enough safety to go out there, gain aggro from the Plesies, and get back to the other side of the entranceway where you are safe and will spend the rest of your time during the tame. If you are worried about the second Pleasy, if there is one, you can either kill it or ignore it as once you set the trap, it cannot do anything harmful to you. To set the trap, get on the Carbonemis and pull out a Stone Dino Gateway. Swim up to the Pleasy and keep going as far as you need till the gateway is behind it and it turns green. Then place it down. The Pleasy is now completely trapped from fleeing. For this method, I recommend using a crossbow and trank arrows since you only need level 25. I also recommend going for a pleasy of level 50 and under for your first tame, using a mixture of cooked and raw prime and asking a fellow survivor of a higher level to craft you a saddle. It is up to you if you'd like to starve tame it, but I recommend downloading the app Dodo Dex and using both the starve timer and torpor timer and allowing notifications on your phone so you don't forget. Now, on to the endgame method. This requires no tames like the last one, but it does require scuba or tech gear. Alright, you're going to essentially do the same thing that you did with the Carbonemis, but without a tame. So you're going to swim out, not too far. I do recommend going into K or Orbit mode in both methods just to make sure that there is nothing there. Then. Once you're a significant distance out, you will gain aggro from the plesiosaur and then you're going to come back inside of the cavern entranceway. You should take notice on what happens if you don't set the trap. Sometimes we get lazy or maybe we just don't care and that's fine. Just be prepared for the plesiosaur to keep swimming away and coming back until it enters the final phase of fleeing when its torpor gets so high that it's about to become unconscious. The problem with this is you end up with a cave pleasy away from safety. There are plenty of dinos out there that can kill you, not to mention your stamina bar. You are so far away from any land that this could become a future problem. So let's just use a dino gate. This time without the carbo, swim up on either the left or the right side of the pleasy so it doesn't keep pushing you back. Once the gate turns green on the back end of the pleasy, place it and retreat. Now that it is trapped, you can begin to knock it out. You can either use a harpoon gun and trank spear bolts, or a simple crossbow and trank arrows. The choice is yours. Just know that you will need double the amount of trank arrows as you will trank spear bolts, and your crossbow is likely to break. Now that your pleasy is knocked out, set your starve timers and torpor timers on the Dodo Dex app. Since you'll be taming a high level pleasy, at this point I recommend using superior kibble for the best taming efficiency. 
Also, you'll notice that the pleasy goes limp when it is unconscious. So that's a clear way to identify that it is unconscious and you don't accidentally hit it one more time. Because if you do, it will ruin your taming efficiency and all your hard work. So since I pre-starved this guy for you guys and did not waste your time, we're going to drag and drop in the superior kibble. You're going to notice that the pleasy is going to start to feed. And when it is done eating the correct amount of superior kibble for its required level, boom, you will be tamed. Easy, pleasy, guys. <laughs> Easy, pleasy. <laughs> oh, man. And lastly, I just wanted to touch on the fact that you have two options for saddles, either the regular saddle or the platform saddle. Um, you can use the Dodo Dex. It has a resource calculator that you can plug in whatever item it is you were trying to craft and it will give you the uh, exact amount of resources required. And there you have it, the new best location ever to tame a plesiosaur with the easiest taming method on the map Crystal Isles. If you found this video helpful, please throw it a big thumbs up by smashing that like button. If you're new to the channel, you're going to want to subscribe, trust me. You can also share my content with your friends as this helps to grow the channel and help more survivors. I know what it's like to work 9 to 5, come home and spend hours online trying to find answers to my art questions when I just want to play the damn game. Fortunate for you, my channel offers quick and informative information so you learn what you wanted and can get back to ARC. I'm currently doing all Crystal Isles content, so if you want to see something, feel free to ask. If you have any questions, please comment down below as I will respond. Till the next one, guys. Peace! Yo, yo, microphone check, make it a microphone check Give it a microphone, I make them make it a microphone dead Don't step to me newbie, I could truly be moody I could've played the fucking Grinch in the movies I've been a part-time shadow cat, part-time That is not a guy that I...